For a professional finish, it's essential to be able to export clean and clear documents at the end of each project, whether for printing or presenting in PDF format. So let's see how we can do it correctly and learn all the tips and tricks. To export your sheets, to export a PDF, you can go to File and you can either go to Print and use this PDF option or you can go to Export and use this one. They are both the same and it doesn't matter which one you are using. I'm going to click on this part to see all of its settings. As you can see, we have different sections in this part and one of them is this Export range. And we have like three options in this part. First is this current window. If you export your PDF on this option, your PDF is going to be only this sheet and everything that is inside it. So anything that you can see inside this sheet and inside this window is going to be on your PDF. But if you switch to this one to visible portion of current window, it is going to be different. It doesn't matter if you zoom in or zoom out, the PDF that you are going to export on this option is going to be everything that you can see on this work view, working view in here, everything. And also these background, these white parts too. Okay, so this is the difference between these two. Let me just zoom in and export a PDF to see how it should be. So if I click on export on this option, you should change the size of the paper okay only on this option you need to change this page size and you need to put it on any of these options that you want i'm going to put it on a2 and then i can export it i don't need to save this setting so i'm going to click on no and then you will wait until your export is complete if you open the file you will see something like this these white parts are also included and we can see just a part of the sheet which we usually don't use it like this unless you want to focus on some specific part but with the first option you can just export this sheet so let me go back and put it on current window and export another pdf with the same setting and with this option you will have a sheet like this you can see these parts again but this is because we changed the paper size and we're going to fix all of them at the end so this is how the current window option is going to be it will only export your sheet but if you want to export multiple sheets or multiple views you need to go with this third option selected views and sheets so to access all of its settings you can click on this pencil and in this part you can select any sheet or view that you want with this filter in this part you can select between 2d views 3d views or just sheet and then it will be easier for you to control your views we are going to export just sheets so i'm going to uncheck these two and we can select between these options that we have in here i'm going to click on this part and select these two now if you want to check these views check these sheets before printing you can click on this preview to see how they are going to look so if i zoom in i can see all of the details in this part everything is looking good and everything is clean and also you can check the other one and if you want to change anything you can change it before exporting because it might take a little time so after you select everything that you need you can click on this select and it will ask you if you want to save these settings for exporting so if you click on yes you will have these two as a print set in this part and you can select them easily without like selecting them each time but i'm not going to save them right now so i'm going to click on no now i'm going to change the file name and export the view to see the pdf open the file and you can see both of your sheets in this part you see the thick bold lines in here and this is because the scale of this view is not matching with the size of this sheet okay there is no special problem in this part if you match them you won't have any problem like this the next part is the file section so in here you just need to assign a name and an address for your file it is very simple but there is also an option in this part which combines all of your selected views into a single pdf if you uncheck these and if you select these two sheets for your pdf these two sheets are going to be in two separate pdf 
but if you check this you will have both of them in one single file you notice that if i uncheck this option this file name is going to use another system and we can't change the name right and um, you can't assign two different names for all of the sheets that you have in here if you are going to have them in separate pdf okay so revit is going to use a system if you click on this part you can see how it works so in here it simply says that uh, the naming the name of your pdf is going to be first the type and then it is going to use the view name with this dash between them so you can just simply change it especially this is really good for uh, like large project where you want to export everything correctly so you can for example set this sheet number and the phase of your project with a separator dash or any icon that you want i think it's a very helpful setup for naming then we have this size section in here you can set the size of your sheets so usually it is set on use sheet size and we use it all the time but if you want to change it if you want to export any views you can use these options that are available in here then we have this zoom which you can use fit to page which if we use it the scale is going to be different and it's not going to be accurate we usually use this zoom and we keep it on 100 so we have accurate sizing and accurate scale on our sheet so if i export this pdf on these settings you will see that all of those extra white parts around the sheets on the pdf are going to be invisible so let me just open the file and see it together you can see these parts in here the size of the sheet is matched with the size of this paper and this pdf for all of these sheets but the other one was like this which is not acceptable and also the scale is different right so make sure to check all of these things before you export next part is this paper placement and it is set on the center you can activate this offset or margin if you change the page size so if i change it to a1 you can see that you can add any offset or margin to your sheet so if you change it to user defined you can assign numbers to this part and you can like give offset to your sheets if you want the other option that we have in here is this orientation and this option is only going to be active when you are changing the page size so if you select any other size you will have this orientation active so you can set it on portrait or landscape by default again it is set on automatic so you don't need to change it because we are usually using this use sheet size next part is this appearance but before that i want to explain about vector processing and raster processing vector processing has so high quality and it produces files so much faster than raster quality also the size of the print file is going to be much smaller but on the other hand raster processing is used for lots of views because if you have like shadows active if you have a sketchy lines if you have a point cloud on your sheets or on your views or if you have coordination uh, revit automatically use this raster processing so it might take so much time uh, and the quality is lower so it depends on you which one of these you are using you can either use vector processing and deactivate those sketchy lines or those shadows or you can just simply use this raster processing and change the raster quality in here which affects the time affects the export time so much in here we have four levels low medium high presentation which depending on the level that you're going to present for example if you just want to show the placement of these uh, views or if you want to like just check you can use medium or low but for the final presentation you can use this high or this presentation the other option that we have in here is the color so we have three options in this part this color is going to export your sheet with exactly all of the colors that you have on your view it's not going to change any color 
then we have this gray scale which export all of the lines all of the shadows and patterns on a gray scale and then we have these black lines which turns everything into smooth black lines i just checked these two options on this sheet and didn't see that much difference between them but you might need to use one of them depending on your requirement the last part is this options section i'm going to mention each one of these briefly because they are very simple but super helpful so this first option view links in blue color prints only by default if you export your sheet and if you have any links on it it is going to be printed on black but if you check this option it is going to be printed on blue the next part is this height reference planes or work planes this is also very important because we don't need to like show where the work plane is or where we use reference planes they are for guiding the families or for some guidance for ourselves and we don't want them to be on final pages also we don't want to see these view tags unreferenced view tags on any of our sheets so you probably need to check this one too next we have this region edge mass coincident lines so it is going to be active only when you are in vector processing and it is about the region lines so if i zoom in and if we go to annotate section in this part you can see these regions so i'm going to create a region mask in this part and i'm going to hit finish well this region mask has two parts one of them is its pattern and the other parts are these edges in this part so that option is for these parts sometimes you don't need to see all of those lines around where you mask so you can use that option for those situations next option is this hide scope boxes which you can use if you don't want to see the lines of your scope box and also you can use this option if you don't want to see the crop boundaries so in this sheet i have a 3d view with this crop boundary so in this part if i check this height crop boundaries i am not going to see these lines on my sheet then we have this replace half tone with thin lines also in this view you can see that these trees are on half tone so if you check this your lines all of these lines in this part are going to be seen on thin line which is going to be a bit darker than what you can see in here and the last option is this export in background it's inactive and it is because the export range is on visible portion of current window if you switch to this selected view or to this one you can see it in here i think it doesn't matter if you check it or not uh, if you export your pdf this window is going to be closed and you can continue working and the export is going to be working on the background which is really good we don't have this option on exporting images right and that's all this was everything you need to know about exporting pdf if you want to save these settings you just need to go to export setup and you can save your setting from here then you can come back you can rename it or delete it if you don't need it anymore if you also want to learn how you can export an image correctly, you can watch this video.